I was always writing my whole life. I was writing fiction. I was writing just for myself. And um, then I found Wikipedia. My name is Gerion Kalkul. I'm from Germany. I mainly write for the German Wikipedia. It was um, a page about uh, part of a city where my grandmother or grand grandmother was born. And it's a small part of a city which doesn't exist anymore because they flattened it in, I don't know, 80 years, 60 years ago. It does not exist anymore. So I want to read about it. And uh, the only place where I found information about this in a form that I could understand or all information about this was uh, collected together in one article was Wikipedia. And one day I found out you can edit this. You can change this information. Anybody can. It's a certain power that you have. For instance, if you read your daily newspaper, you see some things that you think I might not be correct or that you don't like. Uh, so the uh, choice that you have is writing a letter to the editor. Uh, some people do that, most people don't. Uh, they just complain at home. In Wikipedia, you have um, the opportunity to um, correct this mistake straight away. Like in a normal encyclopedia, you've got very good people writing the articles, uh, the entries for a lexicon. But you only have like two editors who look over it. And in Wikipedia, you've got so many people with knowledge about the subjects that read it, look over it, and then correct it. So anything that's wrong in the Wikipedia doesn't stay there for long, mostly. And that I found very fascinating. Anybody can write any nonsense into Wikipedia. But if you write nonsense, if something's wrong, you've got hundreds and thousands of people seeing that and correcting it. Mainly, um, I write about chess players. I write about airports as well, for example, birds, insects, mares, whatever is interesting me at the moment. If you engage yourself into a certain topic, other people will contact you. You just see the nicknames on the internet, you don't have faces to it, you don't have names to it. And then you see the people and they're so diverse. Some are 80 year old, some are 60 year old, some are 40 year old businessmen or 30 year old artists, 15 year old uh, students from school. And they're so different, but what they have all in common is they're curious people. They want to know things and they want to share this knowledge.